Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are sharing with you, we cruised all nine major cruise lines in America and we ranked them all. <laughs> yeah, so in the last seven months or so, we kind of went on a cruise rampage and we hit every <laughs> single cruise uh, line that there was. And so it's kind of all fresh in our mind right now. So we wanted to rank them all for you and give you an idea of just how they compare to each other right now, where you're getting the best value for your money, where some of them fall short and where some of them shine. So let me give you a, the list of the cruise lines that we've been on that you know which ones we're choosing from. Uh, they are Princess, Disney, Virgin, Carnival, Royal Caribbean, Norwegian, Holland America, MSC, and Celebrity. So. That was a lot of cruises to do. <laughs> <laughs> but we had a great time doing it. Uh, at one point, we spent over 45 days in a row on cruise ships, just kind of going back to back <laughs> to back. And we saw a ton of amazing stuff. The cruises were amazing. And so let's get into it and see which was the best one, though, because that's kind of the most asked question we get is, I want to do a cruise. I want to make sure I get a good one and good value for your money. So let's figure that out. And I do want to point out that as we're ranking these, this is just ranked on how it was, not based on how much we paid, but there is one category based on price. So that is going to factor in and you kind of have to look at how good they are versus how much you're spending to know which one is going to be the best value. Mm -hmm. And obviously this is our opinion and based on our experiences with each one of these. And the first, category that we're going to talk to is actually a really important category and so it is about food so we're going to rank them um in in order from one to nine of how the food was and we'll discuss that too yeah so we'll give a couple standouts in each category but the food the winner of the food category and this is not even close by far the winner of the food category is virgin voyages they have just done a tremendous job with their food. They do, and I, I think that they're underrated because they have just a few ships and they're kind of new to the cruising game in America. Um, I think a lot of people haven't had the experience on there yet, and it is actually, it will just kind of blow you away. We've got oh, other videos here on the channel about Virgin and our experience there, so, so make sure that you guys check those out. But Virgin really goes above and beyond with their food. Um, they don't have specialty restaurants, everything's just included, and so you can go to what would be a specialty restaurant on another cruise line you can just make a reservation and go to it. Yeah, every single night. As part of your fare. Yeah. Every uh, single night of your cruise. Yeah, so you're basically eating, if you think about specialty dining on other cruises, you're basically eating that every night for dinner. Then they don't have a buffet. Uh, what they have is a food hall where you go in and you order your food and they've got six or seven restaurants in there. And these restaurants are just open all the time. There is a diner that's open 24 hours a day. You can get 24 hour breakfast and it's just amazing. And then on top of that, they have everything else is included. Your soft drinks are included. You don't have to have some package. You don't have to order it from the bar and sign some paper afterwards. You just walk up to the soda machine, get your soft drink. They have all kinds of things like popcorn, cake pops, even candy is all included sweetest fish <laughs> what kind of candy other candy did we get on there <laughs> uh like chocolate and uh we also got like brownies and things like that there were tons of different it was yeah. you know way too many offerings actually <laughs> there not were to too mention, many choices <laughs> not to mention i have been ranking the pizza on all these ships and it <laughs> still does rank as the number one pizza pizzeria at sea on, on any of these ships. So yeah. the food, they just blew it out of the water. And the other thing too, which is actually really quite huge, is the room service food. Uh, oh, the quality yeah. on it was, it's this, you're, you're getting essentially some of the same food that they serve in the restaurants that they offer those for room service. So we were really blown away by that too. Yeah. So. Let's move on, kind of give you a rundown of where the other cruise lines ranked in food. Number two is gonna be NCL. Uh, they continually mm -hmm. have good food. Mm -hmm. 
good specialty restaurants. And lots of different places for you to eat, lots of options. Number three is Princess. Uh, number four is Celebrity. Five is Holland America. Those kind of more expensive lines, they kind of specialize in, in food. Uh, number six is Disney. Number seven is Carnival. And I think Carnival's food is, is probably more worthy of a, a seven ranking. It's not so far from these other lines. It's actually kind of similar to these. It, it, because there's a lot of variety in Carnival. They have a lot of good food actually there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, number eight is going to be Royal Caribbean. And number nine will be MSC. And in our experience, it's a pretty big gap between the rest of them and MSC. They're that's a solid mm -hmm, nine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Royal Caribbean is eight and MSC is nine, but there's a big gap between Royal Caribbean and MSC. Yeah. Huge difference. <laughs> uh, so moving on now to the ships, and at the end we're going to tally these all up so you'll have an idea of what the actual best cruise line is. The ships, this is like the beauty and the wow factor, the innovation, uh, just like how impressed are you going to be when you walk on the ship. And the winner of this I think pretty much is Royal Caribbean. They are just releasing new ship mm -hmm. after new ship with incredible wow factors. Mega They're ships. Mega <laughs> ships. Uh, and they are just beautiful. Yeah, they've, they've really got a lot to offer. I mean, if you have already seen probably photos and video clips of the anticipation of the icon of the seas, it's going to be absolutely magnificent magnificent it's actually i mean it's a floating like theme park slash city yeah it's incredible uh next up second place in this category is ncl uh the new prima and some other of their new ships are also beautiful then we've got virgin coming in third and their ships are beautiful but they're also very unique with the wow factor it's not like the ships are overly big but they have such cool features on them, like game halls and little touches like, you know how every ship has a video arcade and it's $20 a day to play and you never use it because like you're just not doing that. On Virgin they have that same arcade, but everything is just free. <laughs> so that's the beautiful thing about Virgin is when you step on that ship, you're really not spending another dime unless you really find a way to do so. I don't know how you'd spend money because <laughs> yeah. they also give you the, the beverage uh, tab. So it'd be hard to spend money on there. But they do have that. They have things like hammocks in the bedrooms and it is just, uh, just a great ship. Yeah, so from Virgin, the next in line is going to be Disney. Disney, obviously, it's like a floating mini Disney park. Um, so they've got some really um, amazing experiences and different things on their ships that you won't find on on some of the other brands. And I'd say that's the cutoff right mm -hmm. there. There's a mm -hmm. big gap between Disney and then going back down now. Next is going to be Carnival uh, and then MSC, Princess, Celebrity, and Holland America uh, would be last. That Holland America does not have that wow factor. It is more for a it's more of a conveyance, it feels like, when you're on a Holland yeah, America it, ship. <laughs> yeah. It's a different uh, audience on a Holland America ship. Generally, the average age is a little bit higher uh, on those ships. So, moving now towards entertainment. And the number one uh, ship for, uh, cruise line for entertainment is going to be Disney. And it's by a pretty wide margin. Mm -hmm. Yes, not only uh, do they have you know the characters, uh, experiences on this on the ship, but the shows uh, that I mean you're going to like you know Broadway feeling level performances um, in in the theater and on the Disney ships. So I think that it, like you said, there's a pretty wide gap between it and the rest of the ship. So who's next? Uh, next is gonna be Royal Caribbean. They do have some really nice shows, some shows on ice also. Uh, third up is gonna be, and these kind of all blend in here after that. They kind of all are about the same. Virgin, NCL, uh, Celebrity, Princess, Carnival, MSC, and then Holland America uh, would be last for us as far as shows go. Yeah, so, uh, you know, those first two are kind of out in front 
innovative and and all that in their programming and their shows and what they offer for entertainment and then kind of everybody else is in the back yeah <laughs> looking uh, to the front <laughs> next category is very important and it's going to be cost so you you're going to have to determine how good it is for the cost Number one in cost, and it's a good thing, is MSC because <laughs> they've come up almost last in every other category, but they are definitely the cheapest, and that is good. They are, yeah, they are mean, very cheap. If you're looking for a short getaway and you don't want to spend a lot of money and like you know you're like I have got to do something, I need a break. This is going to be your best choice. Yeah. They're going to be the least expensive, um, and you'll have lots of options to choose from with MSC. And they do have gorgeous ships, so um, you know you're going to have a good yeah. experience. They have some pretty good ports they go to as well. So, you know that's that's a good thing. This is the, the only category they're going to come in first. Yeah, but like you said, uh, entertainment per dollar MSC ranks really high because you're on a cruise. We've done an MSC cruise for. $179, $399, you can't beat that. If you get on a $300 MSC cruise, you're going to get your money's worth out of that. Mm -hmm. it's, there's mm -hmm. no doubt about it. So <laughs> if you're going on an MSC cruise and you're watching this, just because they're ranking low in most categories, uh, you know, there's a reason for that. It's because the cruise was so cheap, but it is still worth the money because you're going to have a great time they just aren't as fancy and as elaborate as some of the other cruise lines. Uh, second in cost, I think, obviously, would be Carnival. They have a lot of great deals on their cruises. Uh, then next would be Royal Caribbean. And there's kind of a break after that point where it just starts to get expensive. It starts to, it really goes from, like, you know, MSC, Carnival, Royal, and then it turns up. <laughs> yeah. And then we start at NCL. Yeah, right? and NCL kind of, we love NCL, but kind of our beef with them lately is they have really raised and kept their prices high. We actually saw an interview with them and they said they were doing it on purpose because they felt they had pricing power. I think they may have overshot how much they should price their cruises at <laughs> because I know there's people that are not cruising NCL just because they are so much more than comparable cruises and the cost is is pretty high and they're not offering anything more as a matter of fact they're offering less and you know they're charging you more for tips they're charging you and you know, they're trying to basically you know they nickel and dime you once you get onto one of their ships which is pretty challenging seeing as they've already charged you a, quite a bit a premium for being on their ship and then they want to you know basically shake you down when you're on there yeah so that one you know it's it's in there because obviously they're charging it so it is more expensive than the others but um it goes up from there yeah i will say though that ncl is gonna rank pretty highly in this video just because they are so good and so i just wish they hadn't raised their prices so much <laughs> uh next up for price will be celebrity princess and then holland america those three are kind of all similar and then the two highest priced cruise lines are going to be virgin and then lastly would be disney and of those i would say boy virgin you really are getting what you're paying for on Virgin. Uh, I'm not 100% sure the same can be said of Disney. Those are kind of high priced cruises and it's kind of all about being on Disney. If you took the logos off the Disney ship, you would be like, why did I pay $3,000 for this cruise? Yeah. Whereas on the Virgin ship, you'd be like, this is amazing. I'm glad I paid $3,000 right. for this cruise. Exactly. <laughs> but the Disney ships do have those logos on there. so <laughs> you will. And they are owned by Disney, you, so it, they, they can charge it. And, you, you know, the thing is, is families will pay for it because it's there. <laughs> yeah. uh, next category is going to be like a miscellaneous catch-all category of their private islands, the thermal suites, the staff, the service. Ports. And ports and the vibe of the whole ship. How fun is it? Uh, how much are you going to enjoy this ship? Mm -hmm. Number one in this category is going to be Virgin. By far, it's the most fun cruise we've ever been on and you're just going to have a great time. There's no doubt you're going to have a great time on Virgin. Second is going to be Disney. Same mm -hmm. thing. If you have kids with you, 
they're gonna love it. They're gonna remember it for a lifetime. You're gonna have a great time. It's worth the money. <laughs> uh, third is gonna be Royal Caribbean. Same kind it's of deal. It's a floating deal. party. It's a floating party. <laughs> uh, and then we kind of have a little break. We've got NCL, Carnival, Princess, Celebrity, Holland America, and then lastly, uh, MSC. So that's kind of all the categories. We're going to add these all up for you <laughs> and kind of get, get where they, they, they flesh out. And it's kind of interesting because they, they did end up in little groupings. And I would say, not to say one is the best, one through three are pretty much all similar. And we ranked these, we gave them points, so the lower the score, the, the better, because first place was with one point, uh, ninth place was with nine points. And the first three cruise lines, one through three, is NCL had 15, Virgin had 16, and Royal Caribbean had 17. So those are so close that they are neck and neck mm -hmm. and basically just one and two points apart those are the best three cruise lines if you're just looking to, buy, to book a cruise um a virgin is the best of those but the price is so much higher that it got knocked down uh, so if you can afford virgin or you find a really good deal on one definitely go with that <laughs> or if you get a credit card deal too yeah if you that use is the, if you use the, your points you can oftentimes they have fabulous deals um, for points in exchange po exchanging points for uh, cruises and you get a really incredible deal so keep an eye out for those too yeah next up was going to be Disney uh, they're kind of in a clear fourth place there for us and we had a great time on Disney we just didn't feel like the cost ratio was that great for mm -hmm. us mm -hmm. We also didn't have young kids on the ship with us, right. which would have made a difference. <laughs> yeah, I think it definitely the experience is more geared towards, obviously, families. Uh, we knew that going in, obviously, um, as two adults who's who have, we have two a young, young adult children, so they're older and living on their own. So we didn't have any little kids <laughs> with us. We're not grandparents yet. So the, you know, the experience is completely different. And this might be a different ranking if we had little kids with us or, you know, our children, small children or grandkids or something with us. Maybe different ranking for Disney. But, uh, you know, as far as we're concerned, it's pretty solid right in there at fourth. Fifth place, Carnival. Uh, pretty solid across the board. Mm -hmm. Just a great, you're going to have a good time. You're going to pay a good price. It's going to be a good experience. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pretty <laughs> Pretty much just above average and everything, right? Yeah, and they, they, you know, what you come to expect from Carnival is exactly what you're going to get on any any ship that you sail on with Carnival. Yeah, the next two are kind of tied. They're similar. They basically could be swapped for each other. <laughs> uh, Princess had 28 points and Celebrity had 29 points. So that's our sixth and seventh best cruise lines. Mm -hmm. Yes, and these two cruise lines, like you said, these are pretty close they they're geared towards the same age group um and you know they have a lot of the same features very close in food very close in entertainment very close in their ships and the ports and and you know length of cruise and cost so yeah those are pretty much tied only a point difference between them eighth place with 33 points is msc and msc catches a lot of flack for a lot of things but they rise up here a little bit because their cost is so good, the ships are so nice, that you can kind of overlook some of the other stuff, yeah? <laughs> yeah, this is true. Um, their ships are gorgeous. Um, absolutely beautiful if you ever sailed on one. They really put a lot into them. They're, they're stunning ships. Uh, it's just, you know, they have some other places where they're clearly lacking. This brand came over actually from Europe, so that's probably where a lot of their, you know, deficiencies maybe kind of the the standards are different. So what we're seeing as a deficiency here is not there. It's a little bit, you know, different catering to a different audience. So I think they're making some adjustments as they come into the U.S. market. But they've done pretty good. Um, and like you said, the great ships and great price, you really can't complain too much. And in last place, surprisingly shockingly to us, <laughs> uh, we did not think it was going to go this way, but Holland America with 38 points came in uh, last place for us. And that yeah. is partly due to our age and where we're at and just we didn't see the value 
in that ship and the price is kind of high and everything is just kind of average to below average uh, on Holland America for us. Yes, and we did do a transatlantic cruise uh, on a Holland America ship and you know, it was pretty astounding um, to come to this conclusion as we were sitting down going over all of them and kind of ranking them going in, if you would have asked me before I stepped onto a Holland America ship, never would have expected that as far as ranking with the other companies, but uh, that's just where it landed. And, you know, that's from our experience on all of these ships and on almost all of them, we've done multiple ships. So it isn't just a, on most of them, it was more than one ship for that brand uh, that we've been on in the past and this year as well. So, you know, just had were able to form uh, formulate kind of a little bit better opinion having been on several ships on several of these companies yeah so we'd like to know what you think of these rankings put it down in the comments let us know your personal rankings which one you like more and which one gives you the best value for your money i would say if money's not a concern i would book virgin without a doubt uh if money is a concern i think carnival has a pretty strong price point uh, as far as that little next tier down in, in money. And for us, those are kind of the the, the, the winners of, as far as that goes. NCL was the overall winner in points, but mm -hmm. some of the things it won on was not really, it, it didn't blow you out of the water as much as uh, the other stuff. <laughs> like, like Virgin scored one less point than, or one more point than NCL. But the food is so much better than any other ship. I still would call it the winner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. So hopefully this will help you guys out. Like Rob said, share down in the comments your opinions on some of these uh, and what your rankings might be if you've sailed on all of these as well. Um, leave us those in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We've got videos on all of these ships here on the channel already on and coming. So make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you can be notified when we've got a new video coming up. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys hopefully on the next ship.